actually uh, Islam is uh, the first religion um, and Quran is the first book of law which constituted the law for human beings on the face of the earth which gave women the right of inheritance the right to own their own businesses and the right to be independent from their husbands in certain issues and therefore the concept of uh, or awareness of the rights of women in Islam is the problem with where people uh, I would won't say ignorant but I will say you know lack of education uh, not knowing about the, the, the Islamic values uh, and the Islamic uh, you know prideful um, you know culture uh, the respect the dignity for a mother sister uh, and wife that is the reason that uh, you know people sometimes blame Islam for you know uh, um, oppressing women I think it's because it's, it's so important uh, for a woman for a Muslim to, to wear hijab um, because it, it First of all, obviously, shows to people that you are Muslim, but secondly, it makes them look at you, well, hopefully, makes them look at you more respectably, it gives you more dignity, more modest about yourself, you know, and it avoids the, any sort of lustful gaze from, from men. Well, hopefully, inshallah, it does, but whether it works or not, you know, I don't know. Um, I first started wearing hijab during Ramadan this year. Um, it was a, it was quite a difficult time, but it, it was one that I felt was a right decision. When I, when I took my shahada, a lot of things going on. Like women are oppressed and uh, like people are being brainwashed. But like I don't, before and this, especially now I'm a Muslim, I don't, I don't really look at what the media is saying, what the what the general consensus is, consensus is. But I knew that women weren't oppressed, and because I knew some of the the rights of marriage and stuff, and I knew that. Clearly, there's a difference between culture and religion, you know. It's like uh, in some cultures and uh, cultures and backgrounds, they, they, they're Muslims, but what they do is not Islamic. It's more to do with culture. So I, I, I knew that what, what they were referring to a lot of the time wasn't oppression and it was more culture and not religion. <laughs> prefer England to remain Christian and I think it will do and I'm uh, and really opposed to the spread of the religion Islam you know across the country I'm a little bit worried about it well I'm sad to say that there might be a, a more of a divide than there is at the moment I'm really sad to say that but I, that's what I feel and I think I think more needs to be to be written and more needs to be on television, on the radio, explaining Islam, Spain, you know, all just all about the Muslims. I think we all should, we should know more. And I feel guilty now that I don't know more than I do. Because of the mass media, because of access to, um, you know, so many channels of different kind of media, and people are, you know, uh, coming close to, 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 to spirituality, what they are looking for and it's easily accessible. So lots of people are turning to, to Islam. The advice I'd give to, to new Muslims or, or to, to people you know, wanting to, to revert to Islam is, is to think about it, to be 100% to be sure that that's what you want to do. Once that spark's ignited in your heart, you know straight away anyway that it's the right thing for you to do. I know it seems difficult at the beginning, you think people are going to treat you differently because of your beliefs, but at the end of the day, no matter what religion we follow, we all believe in the same God, it's just a different way of getting there. I think, you know, don't worry about what people think, Allah is the only, the only one that matters really, and you know, if, if you've got that true belief in your heart, then he'll make the path easier for you. My advice to people would just be to keep on striving and stick to your deen and stick to the people of knowledge and follow the deen as much as you can because at the end of the day, we're on this world on a temporary basis 
and we can't follow the whims of men. And you know, um, living in this country, I mean, who's really going to be happy with the Muslims really practicing their deen to a full extent? Because you know, it's in direct violation into what into their beliefs. So they might believe they can have women on billboards half naked and believe in like oppression in other countries and so on and so forth. So my advice would just be to like, stick to your deen and stick to the son of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the companions. I've worked in Turkey, which is an Islamic country. I've actually fasted for Eid just to, just to undergo the experience and share the experience of that with an Islamic family. And um, they were a wonderful family. And I think that the thing that struck me most was that there's an outside, there's a belief that women are totally oppressed in Islam. And my experience of working within that family was that it's actually a very different experience whatsoever. It shouldn't affect the country in the slightest I don't, if, if more people convert to Islam. But um, I don't know, there is a tension there. And I actually, my, my personal belief is that it's there because of um, the, the aggressive um, policies of the UK and, and, the, and the United States basically it seems to be that there's a different set of values for how Islamic countries can operate and how other countries can operate and I think they are the root cause of all the tension. Oh, no.